We haven't been playing against a ton of Angus, so I'm going to play Yodel. I like playing Yodel. It's one of my... It's one of my... It's one of the decks I like. Start off with a great hand. Into another one. Uh, yeah, we're just going to try and run some shards off here. If we get shard, shard here, this hand's actually very good. Uh, I'm not going to play this out because Arena Regular deals the damage when you gain a charge, so this gives us a charge when it comes into play, so I'd much rather hold this to deal points of damage with these Arena Regulars. That was the the last possible turn. I'm going to concede it if we missed again. So let's do this. Pass. Had another non-slow shard next turn. We're super in this game. Sure. We're not blocking here. Take your valor. You're not gaining life, we really don't care what you're doing. Come on, non-slow shard. Uh, yeah, alright, pass the turn. See if we can dodge turn four infinite tricks. Seriously? That's... yep, sure. Welcome to our lives, I guess. Any deck Deathless Guardian? Shard! God bless. All right. Now, let's start with this. And now each of these do... Each of these do two points of damage because they do plus one from this, minus one from this. So we do this first. Kill that. Okay, so now that effect is gone. So now we can play this and do four to my opponent because they each do one and they do one extra. We'll play this and do four to my opponent, and then we'll attack for four, and they'll be at 11. This card's so good. Attack. Alright, if we can dodge them gaining some life, we're probably in an okay spot. These represent seven to eight points of damage right here. Just got to draw a little bit more. They also represent gaining life, which is nice. Okay. 
Take five. Let's see, it'd be interesting to see if he attacks with that. Okay, he does. Yeah, that's aggressive. But they gotta they gotta kill me. They can't just sit back and do whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Blessing unicorns, you got it. Mm. It's a shame we didn't hit a resource here. If we had a resource here, we could just champ power and then play it and hit them for four and then play nightmares, which is probably close to lethal. I think I'm just supposed to blood infusion device here. I can also play Ebony Pawn out. So if I play Ebony Pawn out, that puts them to 10. And then next turn, I have to block one of these. So if I put them to 10 with this this turn, next turn I, I chump this. And then let's say I hit a shard. I hit a shard, then I... Um, although I guess if they go Valor, Valor here, then I have to chump block twice. That doesn't seem particularly good. So I probably just want to fire off the Blood Infusion device here. So if I fire this off, this puts them to 8, and then next turn, if I draw a shard, I can, after I chump here, I can champ power, and then playing the shard does 2, puts them to 6, this puts them to 4, then they probably played something else, so this isn't lethal. If I champ power now, this puts them to FAC2 with the brand new subscription. Thank you for the support, I really do appreciate it. Subs are the best way to show your support for the channel, so I appreciate you going above and beyond. Uh, if I champ power now, I can do four and put them to seven. And then next turn, I play shard and they go to six. And then this puts them to two. I don't think it looks good for me either way. I'm going to activate this because I think the best chance to win this game is them not playing any Valors out next turn. If they don't play any Valors out, I actually don't have to block and I can just go to one. So, the hope here is that there's no Valors to be played out. It's not bad for a gamer. We missed, uh... Kept one shard, missed our second on two, and then didn't get our third till turn five. Any tips or just a bad matchup? Uh, the matchup's pretty draw dependent in my in my experience. Uh, the best tip I can give is make sure you're boarding out the Ghostblade Duelists. I think that's something a lot of people miss doing. Ghostblade Duelists is just free value for their Carnosaur. They like get to eat it and keep their Carn on the table, and it also gives their Cluckadon something to kill when they play those. So you want to make sure the Ghostblade Duelists come out in that matchup. That's the the best piece of advice. One good tank deserves another, I guess, but I feel like their board position is a lot better than ours, so. Sure. So they Valored, which is bad for us, because that means we do have to jump block here. Sure. Yep. They have, uh, Grace... Uh, tank, tank, kill me. Have to block both of these. Ah. At least, like, our tank had things to think about. Tank, tank, kill me. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's only 14 cards in my reserves. Hmm. I guess I should look at deck list before I... Before I hit submit. Um, almost certainly an Electrofry matchup. 
Yeah, probably. Uh, Casualty of War doesn't seem particularly good. Nightmares is probably a little bit slow. It's also pretty bad against uh, all their phantoms that the she can put into play. Uh, am I missing my fourth Burning Tendrils is gone for some reason? That's what, There should be a fourth Burning Tendrils on the board, and that would definitely come in here, so... I guess we'll hit Submit. Is this a matchup where I want Burn? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to save. Yeah, I really like the Yodel deck. The Yodel deck is just like pure, it's pure math. It's just like count your opponent up and f figure out how fast you can kill them and play around the, you know, the maximum amount of their cards as you can. And uh, there's a lot of like minimizing and maximizing like how, when you're supposed to be using your shard power optimally versus not. So I enjoy, I enjoy playing that type of game on occasion. Sands, sand's okay. It's a little bit resource heavy, but in my experience, this deck prefers to be resource heavy as as per uh, bush mouth as opposed to resource light. Uh, yeah, I'll play this out for a blood. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play this ghost play duelist out here. Yeah, it's possible I'm supposed to get ruby there since I have these two for blood. One of the things I like to do when maximizing my champion power when playing this deck is I like to try and make sure that I always uh, get at least two points of damage out of this champion activation. That basically allows every shard you draw to deal a point of damage. Yes, I agree. It's definitely more complicated than the burn decks and magic. The champion power adds a really, a really nice layer of complexity. This deck's also more complicated than... Um, the, ooh, that was a great draw. So this is Life Drain and Swift Strikes. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and fire up the champ power here. This is actually a great draw because this is, this matchup's probably awful for us. He's got main deck Pious Paladins and main deck, uh, you can't, <laughs> main deck that card that non-combat damage is reduced. Like, just all sorts of things that are bad for us. Probably want the Ember Spire Witches. Seeing this Pious Paladin in post board, that's probably not unreasonable. So this turn we're going to use our champion power yet again, because we're going to get three points of damage out of Getting three points of damage out of your champion power is just, it's insane. So we'll activate this, play Infusion Device, crack Infusion Device, activate both these duelists. So this is going to put them to 11, this will put them to 9, this will put them to 7, and this will actually give us back up to two charges again. So they are... Just just dead next turn, just like turn five, dead you. This does four with the champion activation, and then this does eight. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The 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 Angus deck is much, much easier to play than this deck is for sure. There's much more linear lines. Good thing they're dead. Since they tanked last game, I'm going to kill their infinite tricks to send a message. Really wish I had the fourth burning tendrils in my board. For whatever reason, it's not there. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, let's put the Ember Spire Witches in. What am I cutting for these? They're also Swift Strike, which is reasonable too. Do I, maybe I don't want all these Electrifries. We're a little slow on the draw, and I guess his, his Crusader has plus toughness, which is smart. I'm going to cut a Cremate and Electrify and bring in. I don't think I want Gemborn Prowler in this matchup. Crusader is a real pain. Nah, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to hit save. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I I'll, I'll I gotta go look, especially since it's missing a, a site a reserves card. I really have to check like what's going on here.
Hey, is that illusion? I love this deck in decks like it. This the and again, this deck is very different than the Angus deck. The Angus deck is much more one, two, three, four, just like play your cards on curve and hope they run your opponent over. This deck has a lot of there's a lot of really important sequencing decisions when playing the Yodel deck. This hand's pretty medium. Uh, the fact that I have a Quashwidge Rubble without an Orc to enable it is a little meh. I also don't have a consistent source of damage. You're really looking for a hand that has, like, an Arena Regular, a Ghostblade Duelist, or an Ebony Pawn or something like that in it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play Catch and Release with this one, I think. This hand is, uh, much better. Has both Ebony Pawn and Arena Regular in it. No one drop. That's that's very good. Them having a sufficient clock on the play is pretty important. So if they go one, two, three, you're probably going to be in a lot of trouble here, even with this burning tendrils. Big bucks, no turn two play. Big bucks, no turn two play. Big bucks, no turn two play. Ding, fries are done. All right, let's play this out. Get this arena regular on the table so we can start attacking, hopefully. Non-zero chance our opponent has a uh, Crusader next turn, but just in case. Hey, Inferno. Next turn, we'll get a two damage champion power activation. No blocks here. Wow, he doesn't have a play. All right, well, we're, huh. I have a couple decisions here. I kind of don't want to run into a repel. So I think I'm gonna just going to do this and then play this. Although maybe if he has repel, he would have attacked. I don't know, it's close. I get, I get three points of damage and off my champion power regardless here. So I got, no, four... One, two, no, just three, yeah. Skip for now. It's possible I miss points of damage here, but I'm getting, I'm getting a point of damage by playing this out rather than playing this, so it's almost a wash, and this is a little bit more conservative in case they have removal. Alright, activate this again. Anytime we're getting these three three damage turns out of the champion power, just like super happy about it. Turn to interact with pawn than a creature. It's higher upside if I'm attacking with the arena regular. But you're right, we the, the sequence that I took technically missed a point of damage. Because I didn't attack. Has a martyr. Okay, sure. Again, in a bunch of damage. That one point of damage could end up costing us. All right, well, let's try and... Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to hold on to that just in case of... Uh... See, if he doesn't have another Martyr here, he's going to be in trouble. Has another Martyr? Okay, sure. Although I guess this empowers next turn for four for six, so that's fine. All right, oh, their hands unlocked. You know, I probably shouldn't have champ powered last turn. Ha! <laughs> Good, their crackling vortex bit him in the butt. So I'm definitely doing that. The question now becomes, what am I hitting with burning tendrils? So if I burning tendrils this, he can valiant escort it back to his hand, and then I don't... Uh... Now this, this is an interesting... This is a super interesting decision. Oh, I think I'm supposed to Burning Tendrils this in response. <sighs> Especially to this. 
Yeah. And he's gonna save it so he doesn't gain. Li Are you kidding me? Seriously? Ugh. Well, I said this matchup's probably unwinnable for us, so I guess that just contributes to it make being unwinnable. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> All right, whirling brutalizer or burning tendrils, please. I guess Electrofry also good. Arena regular, sure. That's probably the game. That's, that's a turn late. Uh, this kills us. Oh yeah, that reverts. Oh, sideboard. Crap. <laughs> you're, t you're too slow, Ace. You are too slow. <laughs> That's fine. 15 card reserves are overrated. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh, good. The mono life gain deck. Excellent. It's fine. I like me a challenge. No. 14 card reserves. Two mono life gain decks in a row. Hashtag yodel up. You know what's funny? We probably would have beat that diamond deck in game one if we'd have had a, you know, a reasonable hand. Or if we would have just, like, hit our shards on two and three. Or even, like, on two and four. <laughs> oh, God, seriously? Oh, this is great. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh... Okay, I understand. I understand. I understand. I, I'm not. I'm just. Yep. Okay. I understand. Nope. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play anymore. We'll just. We'll just. Yep. Where's the Yodel deck? I'm going to at least. I don't know if we're going to play. We'll try. We'll try one more maybe. And if we run into one more mono life gain deck, we will. We will call it a day. Okay. Right, let's just add that in there. Uh, yeah, did I go down to 23 shards? I'm pretty sure I did. This is 14 and 6, 9, 23. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Your deck had main deck Pious Paladin, 
and main deck whatever that deathless card is that reduces non-combat damage by one. You're in, in main deck infinite tricks. Your your deck, your deck was it, it's a main deck anti burn deck life gain deck essentially. It it's a deck that's full of clunky cards that's not going to beat a control deck but craps on aggro. That's you 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 literally built it to beat our deck. It's I call it whatever you want life gain whatever. But that's I understand. It's fine. Your your deck did its accomplished goal kind of. If we'd have had a curve in game one, I think we would have run you over. But, you know, them's the them's the beats. Yeah, sure. Shrek Jeff, there you go. <laughs> hey, that was an excellent draw. Probably want to play this one too. Okay, Dread Harvest, not a Carnosaur. Hashtag not a Carnosaur. He missed a Dreadling trigger. Could have activated the series, just like playing Clobbered on anyways. So it doesn't matter. Although, no, still missed a Dreadling trigger and a point of damage. So my opponent should have uh, activated Howling Brave and then played Dread Harvest there. We hit a resource though, which is pretty, pretty good for us. Definitely an argument to making a blood there. Would not, would not fault anyone for having made a blood that turn there. This race is going to be tough on the draw, but i have got to keep in mind, had we been on the play, we wouldn't have had this Ghostblade Duelist on one, so, you know, probably about a wash. Yeah! Swing and a brick! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Howling Brave, sure. Why do you make a Threshold card? Why? I just, I have to ask myself that every time I look at this card. Why? Why does it make a Threshold? All right, take seven. No blocks. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. Marty with the Twitch pennies. Thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Into the cup. Into the cup they go. Hey, look, you got three out of five in. That's not bad. All right, so let's play... No! Oh, God! Oh, God, it's been so long since I've played Yodel. I'm such a big, dumb, stupid. Missed a point of damage there. Watch him. God, I hope our opponent lives at one life. God, they live. They deserve. They deserve to live at one life. For I have missed a point of damage. So I forgot to activate Yodel before playing my shard, which dealt a damage because Arena Regular deals deals damage when we gain a charge. It's my fault. It is your fault. If we lose, it's Marty's fault. We're going to lose all these valuable stars. Oh, don't crock me. Come on, have a heart. Stomp, stomp. Sadness resolves. Stomp, stomp, sadness. Eat these two guys, I assume. Yep, my poor little orcs. They were so young. All right, take six, go to six. We're gonna draw Ruby Shard here. That's okay. That's kind of what we want. So I can this puts me to ten. I could champ power and burning tendrils this and fireball him. This does three. This does four. That's seven. This is eight nine, and then this kills them next turn. 
I could also play this, crack this. Yeah, I think that's the line, actually. I think we're supposed to do this. And then we burning tendrils this and put them to nine. And then we fireball them and put them to five. Oh, I miscounted. Oh, I miscounted. Because this isn't actually going to do two because I need it to block. That's unfortunate. So if I draw a shard next turn, if I draw a shard next turn, they die because this gives me a charge when it comes into play, and the shard, and the shard gives me a charge. So I need to draw a shard to kill my opponent here. Because we can then, this is going to get to activate at, before it after it blocks before it dies. That puts them to four. So, shard? Any shard. Hey, yo. I say, hey, yo. Bottom. Remember? Remember that time we missed a point of damage and then almost lost the game because of it? Remember that time we missed a point of damage and then almost lost? That's, that's why I like playing Yule. Because it's the really little things that often, that often add up. Like that game there would have would have lost the game if I would have if I would have missed that point of damage. So I'm gonna cut the Ghostblade Duelist for the mention thing I mentioned earlier when someone asked about the Shoku matchup. The Karns and Cluckadons, they're really bad against those. Nightmares is a little medium. Uh, extra Burning Tendrils is great. Extra copies of Burn are fine. I could also see Electrofry being fine. Casualty of War isn't the worst. I don't hate, like, one Casualty of War. The problem with Casualty of War is that it doesn't deal damage to your opponent. And I know that sounds like a silly thing to say, but, like, we really need every card in our deck to be dealing points of damage. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to bring in these four copies of Burn. Just do this. Kind of bring our curve down a little bit. Yeah, let's give, let's give this a go. Well, they're not a hero fall deck, so I'll keep, I guess. Swift Strike does not help in fighting. This card does not line up well against Carnosaur. It trades for it, but they still gain life even, so really it's kind of medium. But it's still a card that's worth bringing in in case they have Harvest Moons, and it's good against Cluckadon as well. Yeah, I think so. It's not strictly worse, because technically you can deal more damage if they have a, what's it called, uh, a one-toughness thing, but on average it's probably worse. I am not going to miss this card happening on turn two. That is that is definitely, definitely the cold hard truth. This card happening on turn two is silly. They are. They're printing birdie tendrils without upside. Hopefully he has Cluckadon and not Carnosaur. No blocks. You have to have another play here, right? It's not a Runier Hierophant, obviously, because you would have played that last turn. So, Hex currently only has one constructed format. We only have five sets. With the release of the sixth set, which will likely be towards the end of January or the beginning of February, they'll be introducing a rotating format. God, that's good. Have to kill this, which is unfortunate. Burning Tendrils! Is exactly what we wanted to draw. I'm going to grab a Blood Threshold here. Because uh, with these Rolling Brutalizers that I'd like to play at some point.
can't attack my 2 2 into the 4 3, so skip. Didn't use my champion power, even though we have three charges, because again, I like to get at least two points of damage out of it. Probably gonna die before that's relevant this game, just like two claw bronze is a hard sell. Trax! With the cheering! Choot choot! Into the cup they go. Up, 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 up! Yeah, that's a pretty good rate. Most of those made it in. Um, Yodel as a champion will still be legal. If the deck is still playable, it's going to look fairly different, though. Pretty sure we're dead. We're not... We're not technically dead, but we're mostly dead. Like, we have to, like, turn these fireballs on their guys, and then we just, like, don't have enough resources left over to truly play a game. I got, like, champ power and, like, fireball them for four, and then hit them with this, but then they're just going to kill us in the crackback. So let's try a game three here. Do I, God, do I want Electrofray? Is this a place I want to be in life? I feel like this is a place I may or may not want to be in life. Cut these cremates on the play. Bring these in. That seems fine. I don't hate this card either. You can put we can put like speed and double damage in it. Is that a thing I want to do with my life? Speed and double damage. It's pretty good when racing. Just like play it and jam for eight. No, I don't think so. Let's give this a go. Life in general is swell. Hex today we're going a little go a little medium. Ran into some of the unwinnables. That's fine. Them's the beats. Uh yeah, sounds fine. Sounds like D plus, right? Just like needs a third shard. No brave, come on, come on, come on! Can we not get turned to Clobberdon? One out of three games. It's like Karn me on turn two. Wish granted. <sighs> Double burning tendrils is pretty good. I'm going to offer this trade. I feel like in order to win this game, I have to be living in a world where he doesn't take this trade. I don't want them to block here for reference. God bless. Yep, maybe he's missing a shard. All right, maybe he doesn't have any other gas in his hand. Maybe we draw a third shard. All right, maybe he's out of gas. 
And killing this just means the game is over. Or maybe he has no more shards and he's just going to draw all five drops for the rest of the game. You know, I gotta, I gotta, gotta work glass half full here. Sure. Rats. You give Tilt Angel a crack. <laughs> yeah, there's more clobber nuts. Why? Why? Uh... Just Ruby Shard. Come on. Come on. Come. God bless. All right. Sure. So get to. Whoa. Whoa. What, what happened there? And uh, that was a thing. All right. Sure. We get to. Uh, I get to have the delusion that there's a chance at least. This is what they got off their thing, and they don't have any more troops in their hand. Alright, don't gargle with me, bro. Alright, don't wild growth me, bro. Don't play another card. Don't play another card. Don't do it. Have a heart. Up, oh, up. Oh, so you're saying there's a chance. God, this, this Electrofry looks great, doesn't it? Just... Just the best possible card we could have here. <laughs> As a code bardic. <laughs> we are getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Get out of here. Can I have a shard so I can go out on my own terms? God, God bless you, Kismet. Wish, wish, finally granted. Champ power, Electrofry. This is how we do. Do 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 do